This video is titled Flow Control Valve or FCV 5000 Rate Setting. Tech Sand Pumps always recommends using anesthesia compound to all parts that thread together, including where the head and yoke meet, where the yoke and hex pushing meet, and where the set screws are in the eccentric wheel. Any stainless to stainless connection should have stainless steel thread sealant such as Loctite 567 or equivalent. Teflon tape is still used in the bleeder valve and check valves on the head which is better for high pressure and sealing fluid. After watching the flow control valve installation video you're now ready to move on to setting your rates. I have set the discharge pressure at 200 PSI max. The flow control valve is in the full position, tightened all the way down to the body as far as you can go. As you notice, there's a full stream for the injection. I'm loosening the rate adjustment bolt counterclockwise to reduce my injection rate. Notice I didn't change the controller setting. I didn't change the pin position for the stroke length. All I did was back out the rate adjustment bolt and my injection went from a steady flow to a slow steady drip. And that is before I even changed how fast my plunger was stroking by adjusting my frequency and duration on my pump controller. Now I'll demonstrate going from a steady drip back to a steady flow. As I turn the rate adjustment bolt clockwise, you'll notice that the injection rate there on the left begins to increase. I'll demonstrate a couple of different pressures here. And now we're up at about 425, 450. For our discharge pressure. Notice each time the pump strokes, you're getting a steady stream. At a 450 PSI discharge. The pump is stroking at its full capabilities the max controller setting you see when that pump strokes you have a steady flow of chemical I'll demonstrate a full one minute test with the flow control valve at its max capabilities what is shown here is 90 to 95 milliliters per minute and to reduce your rate Turn the rate adjustment bolt counterclockwise. Notice I do not have to change the stroke length by pulling the pin and resetting it in pin position one, two, or three. The only thing I need to do is turn the rate adjustment bolt counterclockwise. Now I'm going to demonstrate the lowest possible setting for the flow control valve itself rather than 95 to 100 milliliters per minute we only receive 26 to 28 milliliters per minute. As I said before if you cannot achieve your desired injection rate by loosening the rate adjustment bolt you can then move on to your pump controller and adjust that down to finely tune your injection rate. For more information on the flow control valve, please contact your local TechSAM representative or TechSAM's Houston headquarters. Mm -hmm.